Welcome back to Orchid House. This is Olivia in Fort Lauderdale and today I want to do some surgery with you. Uh, I call this repotting a vanda, which is kind of a weird concept since vanda typically are not potted. They are usually in a basket with no medium. Uh, the reason for the surgery here, first of all, this is not very pretty, obviously. <laughs> it's an old plant. Uh, it's very big. It's not pretty uh, because it's so big I have to put it very high uh in my growing area and i don't know if you can tell but the leaves are kind of reddish so which tends to indicate excessive light my van does are typically in great shape uh, the leaves are clean this is not perfectly clean and the leaves here are not floppy but they are not as hard as i would like them to be so this is not a happy plant now the problem of course is that uh, how do you do that so What's important is to have uh, viable roots uh, left once uh, you do the, the surgery. So the viable roots are here. So I, I'm going to have to go down the trunk here and decide where to cut it. And I believe I'm going to cut it either there or here. Reason being, so here at we have two very good new roots with a, a fresh green tip. Uh, just on a side note, you see here little marks that strip damage here as well uh, these uh, brown rings uh, but yeah I mean uh, the, the strips get killed and uh, and then the root continues here the rest goes basically into well actually no there's this one here so this one is also a very good root and then I'm gonna I'm gonna keep these first of all to anchor this inside the basket the new basket I'm gonna give it and there's there's a bunch of roots here and some of these uh, you can tell from the tip that they can come back alive or they are just semi dormant but they should be good so with that I should have enough roots so that the plant doesn't die it may be an, a little unhappy at first so let's go to work see what happens so I think I'm gonna first cut it I'm going to let this here, I think it's a bad idea because there's going to be too much stuff going on in the new basket, but at least if I can remove it, I can still do that. If I do it now and it's gone and I need it, that's too late. So I'm going to cut it. Okay, so that's it. Now obviously some of that stuff is also it's not that much anything goes into the current basket so I'm gonna have to make business decisions <laughs> and cut more and get it loose from yeah, this okay so it's pretty brutal this is gone this is dead obviously uh, so this is what we have left now. Yeah, that's probably too much here. We'll see. So a cut, first of all, should always be... Oops. I think it's attacking me. Should be cleaned with peroxide. Uh, where did I cut? Cut here. Cut there. Cut here. And here, the one at the bottom, yeah, peroxide, yeah, hydrogen peroxide. And here at the bottom, I'm also going to put some uh, powdered cinnamon. So, that helps kill the pathogens as well. So, that's it. Uh, let's see now pretty big uh, I have to figure out how to fit this in here without breaking especially the the three best roots these cannot break Yeah, 
yeah that's not gonna be as easy as I want it so this thing yeah this thing goes doesn't work there's too much going on there at the bottom still gonna struggle okay so let's see to get this through it's not going to be as easy as I wanted to these roots are pretty thick here uh, kind of wonder one two three four that might be good enough uh, there's too much going on there at the bottom this is not bad at all yeah so I'll go even further The future will tell if the plant uh, survives, I would think it will, but it might soak for a while. Okay, now I'm able to fit it inside the basket here. You can show that. My purpose is to, to try and, and secure, yeah, okay, there you go, and then secure the two bottom roots there to the, uh, the basket. As you can tell, I struggle. Okay. Put it here. It might be easier like that. There you go. You see, you want the plant not to wobble once it's in its new house. That's what I'm trying to accomplish here. So there's a first root that's semi-secured. I'm going to have to work, continue working on this. Uh, also make sure that stabilizes it as well. Then we have another root there. I love the Velcro, it's very flexible, it doesn't damage the plant. I use that for all my mounted plants. So let's see if this is stable or not. It is. Bingo. So there is no, this is fine. I'm going to try and have this attached as quickly as possible to the, this one here. Let's not break it yet. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully we'll see and this one as well. It's dangerous to do that, but maybe I should wait a little bit longer. It needs to be more flexible. But anyway, so you got the you got the picture. It's stable now. I'll probably continue uh, securing then at the bottom. I'll give it a good soaking, and uh, hopefully it will be good to go. It's probably going to be unhappy for a while. This is Vanda boschii, so it's a, a primary hybrid between Uzonica and uh, uh, Tricolor. Uh, it really looks like a Luzonica. <laughs> 
Uh, that's the one that dominates the cross. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, very slightly fragrant. But uh, yeah, hopefully not only is it going to be prettier, but more manageable and uh, hopefully get back on track. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye bye.